And on today's video, my man Blake, come on down here, sir. We're gonna discuss and catch largemouth, smallmouth bass, an early fall transition, and the best baits to use to do that. And you can see the jerk bait is a good place to start. Well, fellow YouTuber Blake Lauer, your YouTube channel is what, Blake? BW Outdoors. BW Outdoors. Link to that is in the description. Well, we just finished up a day of fall transition bass fishing combination largemouth and smallmouth we are in southern michigan pure michigan fishing and to tell you the truth blake bite was a little tougher than i expected yep yeah I, I told him we'd catch a whole bunch of fish now i still think we ended up with at least three dozen 36 35 fish something somewhere around there uh, but a typical fish in this sense we had to figure out the pattern now five baits five baits i recommend for fall transition this time of year start with number five and that's the jerk bait. Now we got a dandy smallmouth on that early this morning. It's actually a really good smallmouth here, Blake. Nice. On the jerk bait in Southern Michigan. Let's see if I can swing him in. Look out, here it comes. Oh, maybe not. He's not ready. Now oh, he's ready, boom. Here we go. This is just a Lucky Craft .100. It's custom painted. Normally, I just like the chartreuse shad color, but it's, it's you can see it's overcast. It was that way all day long. That's why it went darker. And we got a couple fish on that, but right away this morning, a real good smallmouth ended up being the best fish of the day. I can't work this thing like my man Don Watts showed us back in June. If you haven't checked that video, you need to. That is the jerk bait master. Always love a tube. So I always catch a few fish on tube this morning, uh, and always get the monkey, monkey knuckle or monkey monkey punch by Loch Ness Lures handy. Uh, of course, you know I like my tubes by Extreme Bass Tackle. Didn't catch him like we did on Lake St. Clair last year with John Dupont, but we still caught several fish with the tube. All right, back in shallow water, so you catch a good one on a jerk bait. Yeah, we got another smallmouth, but this time on the tube, quarter ounce. We kind of got a one two punch going on there in shallows with aggressive fish eating. Jerk bait. If they're feeding, look at, if they're looking, and a tube crawling along the bottom if they're looking for crawdads. Oh, I got him by the tail. I snagged him. Thought he was a good one. Catch right back over there. Ah! Always keep a rattle trap close by, a lipless lure. Now this is a, uh, oh, it's not Bill Lewis. Oh, it's the one everybody uses. The Red Eye Shad by Strike King. And this is a quarter ounce. And the reason I stuck with a quarter ounce today, and maybe it was a mistake because we'd only caught one, was because we're on a lake that has a lot of small fish. And we were after some numbers early on to get things figured out. Uh, while it didn't produce very well today, that is definitely number three on the list when it comes to the fall transition. Cover that up in the shallows or around weed beds. The soft stick bait. And you know I use the Leviathan by Loch Ness Lures too, but uh, and it, rather it's a Senko or some other brand. A soft stick bait, Rig Wacky, is an exceptional choice. I'm gonna say that's number two for me. The old stick bait. There you go. There you go, Blake. Oh, oh, come on. And we got a couple up shallow. We got them underneath docks. Even though it's September 28th and you got overcast, we dealt with rain today and wind. At times, you can still find fish up shallow. But, Blake. It ultimately came down to number one is actually, I think, the funnest way to catch fish. Is that grammatically correct to say the funnest? The most fun way to catch bass, and that is with a topwater. Blake and I both caught a bunch of fish, and really our day was trying to figure something out. And eventually we finally did.
flight got a little slow where we were, but it was ultra calm over there too. Because the difference I like where there's a little bit of chop and immediately we start getting bit again. Now either it's coincidence or it's a matter of follow the wind. So Blake, if you had to assess today, Blake is 13 years old by the way. He is well ahead of the game that I was at 13. I don't think I knew what a spin cast rod was, let alone a bait cast or two, and he was throwing both today. What was your take on the fishing today, Blake? Um, just to go slow and pop that uh, top wire bait along the outskirts of the weeds and pretty much bite every time. Uh, you see that, we caught a lot of fish doing this in, in, throughout the video, we but mostly positioned ourselves on the outside of a weed, excuse me, outside of a brake line which had weeds on it and those fish were coming out of the weeds to eat it. The key to me, in my opinion, is what I don't see a lot of people do and that's a Rapala knot that I use on my top water. Blake and I were doing this today and caught several fish doing that. We definitely figured out the pattern for this lake today. And that's the thing about fall transition fish. I gave you five baits. Any of those five could have been the dominant bait to use today, but it ended up being the pop R. But that's why we had a whole host of baits ready to use. And we just kind of cycled through them and cycled different areas. And luckily for us, we finally came across what worked. And that was that top water bait. Hey, we appreciate you tuning in, appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, pop yourself on the head and then subscribe to this channel. Check out Blake's channel as well. Again, the link will be in the description. Until the next time, we hunters of fish. Well, hold on, Blake. This is big news. I'm going to give Blake his certification. He is an official hunter of fish now. Congratulations, Blake. Thank hunter of fish. Until next time, we will see you on the water.